Let's see what we got. Hey. Oh, this is epic looking. From the nuclear blockbuster, Three Mile. Oh, physics jokes. Nuclear meltdown jokes. A new element in the world of hip hop. I'm so clever. I'm so very clever. That's such a muse thing to do, that why? I really stole that from them. Also, look at that. Look at that head. That bald head. It was very cold. I shaved my head in the middle of January in Montreal. It was a bad move. Look. So yeah, this was the first video I did green screen on. I bought myself a green screen. And then this was also still all done in Final Cut, which is not great at green screening. It's definitely not efficient with it. And uh, it took, it, it totally killed my computer. This was the last video I did on the old laptop before it got stolen. If you had one shot, a one opportunity to release all the energy you ever wanted. I still think, I, I, that, like lyrically, this is one of my, my greatest achievements, this video. In one moment, would you abuse it or use it for good? Yo. They bomb the weapon, countdown clock is set J. Robert Oppenheimer is sweating, eyes are red and he's nervous Cause on the surface this is Armageddon, the shock bomb But we're set upon and threatened You all know the story of the Manhattan Project, I hope This is about J. Robert Oppenheimer and the first nuclear bomb test I think it's pretty clear Nice, nice instruments <laughs> Look at these, these mimed trombone and trumpet Um, this is, uh this is a good example. I use I use the beginning of this video in a lecture I give about lyrics like parody writing and lyricism because a lot of by Joseph Chung, sorry you have to go to class. Um there's a lot of people who um like don't realize like how much lyric like how much in, intense work goes into lyrics, especially like rap lyrics, like people write it off. Um but there's a whole bunch going on, like, and you'll see it when people do, uh, like, like science raps or whatever, like the amount of work they put in the lyrics. A lot of the time, like, I don't know, take a uh, Alpine Cat, right? This, so, LHCB sees when the, where the animator's gone. Alice looks at collisions of lead ions. CMS and Atlas are two of a kind. They're looking for whatever new particles they can find. The LHC accelerates the protons in the lead, and the things that it discovered will rock you in the head. So here you've got um, basically everything, like it's rhythmic, but the only rhyming words that are doing any work, LHCB is where the animator is gone. Alice looks at collisions of lead ions. See, a and Atlas are two of a kind. They're looking for whatever new particles they can find. There's like, there's like all this empty space in terms of what you're doing lyrically, um, where it's, it's like, okay, the ends of the words rhyme, but everything else is like filler. Like you could replace it with other things that wouldn't matter. Eminem does not do that. Like, good rappers do not do that. They are, they're, like, choosing every word carefully, and they're they're weaving this, like, intricate web of internal rhymes. Um, and, yeah, like, every word, every word matters. Um, so f for Eminem, like, the, the original, oh, what's the original one now? Um, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting. There's like, there's like in the space where where like an amateur rapper would put one rhyme, Eminem puts like 15 rhymes in there, and and like it's this like hypnotic repeating like domp amp do do omp amp omp amp e e omp amp. It's like a percussion instrument. You know, um, it's it's giving you like these polyrhythms and these interesting things. So like the real challenge of doing a parody on this kind of uh, on this kind of thing is like you you've got to preserve all that structure. Um, we hard trains. I don't really like rap. See, we hard trains. I get that all the time. Every time I do a rap video, people pe like people write it off. They're like, I don't like rap. It's not my thing, and that's fine. Like if it's not your thing, but I think you should really appreciate the artistry in it. Because, like, it's so difficult to do that, to make it sound like, like, people think of rap as, oh, it's just talking over music. No, it's, 
Rap is like a percussion instrument. It's it's like it's like being a drummer with your mouth while telling a story. It's crazy. Um, and I think it's really cool. So for my thing, I've got to do the same thing. Like, they've armed the weapon, countdown clock is set, and she Robert Oppenheimer is sweating, eyes are red, and he's nervous, because on the surface is Armageddon, the shock bomb, but was set upon and threatened. It's like, like, if you, if you don't have that rhythmic pull to it, then it doesn't, it, like, it, there's no point to it. Then you're just talking over, over music, and then that's not interesting. Um, yeah. Like, it's not only rap. You're right, Emma Lyrical, but... Rap is like where it shines, and that's really like where it comes from. Like if you if you watch like you know Ed Sheeran is doing like one week in we let the story begin. Like he's pulling from the hip hop tradition more than anything else. Like that wasn't really a thing um, in music, at least to that extent. Um, like before hip hop came along. So um, there's my defense of rap and my my explanation of why it's difficult to write one of these things. Let's continue. With no sound, the whole Almagodo ground is glowing and cowed under one smoldering cloud. He's choked and wowed. Everybody's open mouth and over the ground. The shark front blows the pound. Snap back to the alchemy. Hope with old tragedy show with old math that we broke the whole atom. So like there's there's the scene setting and then the, the, there's the scene setting at the beginning of like the Trinity test and then we're snap snap back to the alchemy. We're getting back to like here's here's what's uh, what was going on in nuclear physics at the time here's our understanding the first time we you know actually split in that joke controlled action with pose the cold cadmium coat to go capture controls and slow back to we broke so the pose cold cadmium that was the, the control rods that we put into early nuclear reactors were made of cadmium to slow down the the uh the the chain reaction that would otherwise turn your nuclear reactor into a nuclear bomb Postpone that and we chose to go fashion the most radioactive plutonium gadget then that the plutonium gadget they actually called the trinity the, tr the trinity bomb that was tested in in nevada was called the gadget man, boy, you know the and then fat man and little boy goes laughing as nagasaki is blown and hiroshima's blast so hard to render let this. I'm doing the same thing with the hats that I was doing with the shirts in Bohemian Gravity. Like these are, these are all this like synth. They're all the the purple hats and the, the guitars once again are red hats. Um, the pianos are alternating black and white. It's a real, uh, a real Spider-Man theme. With great power comes great responsibility. Your drones escaping. So now we're getting more into the detailed physics of, you know, how, like, this is not nearly as technical as as uh, Bohemian Gravity was. I, I'm I'm learning how to pitch these at a level at the level I'm trying to hit. The source radiating, merge and start Adam. But I'm still pretending to. I'm I'm still like doing the Eminem voice merge and start at him shaking like you're not from Chicago what are you doing shaking they begin to unglue toward decrease toward and drop their force to sort of and supercharge with loads of protons it can only go farther cold what goes hotter exothermal <laughs> like, the, like these leaning these guys leaning into the camera um we had to set up like this full green screen just like in my entire life. Like, I took over the communal living room for like a week doing this, which I imagine was probably kind of annoying. Colorado to Joe Stalin, coast to coast, whole side lows, but there's no farmer. Toe to toe drama, NATO and more sour, but in co was short. The other, the other thing that rappers do is that they'll, they'll take words and like bend them. So be, because the, you know, the language is limited in what you can say with when you're trying to do that many rhymes. Um, like you 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 take the word and and you can like and like Eminem is a master at this you you kind of shift it so Eminem has this example of like I can think of plenty of things that rhyme with orange right like I got I took an orange four inch door hinge from storage and ate porridge with George right um and so so here like NATO and Wosawa and Co was showed trauma the globe groans everyone knows there's no common it's like like you're it's, if you said that, like, NATO and Warsaw and Warsaw in co-assured trauma, the globe groans, everyone knows there's no calming. It doesn't really work. But if you can bend it, then uh, you can get away with a lot. Trauma, the globe groans, everyone knows there's no common. So show your foes and implode your cold column. That's referring to, uh, to the way that 
uh, fusion bombs work, which is that you have like a, an old style atomic bomb around the edge, and it actually impl like because fusion m nuclear material needs an incredible amount of of compression and heat to actually get it burning and fusing. So you use an old style fission nuclear bomb. You use that to com and the radiation from it to compress the the fusion fuel to a point where it can ignite. So there's like two stage, two or three stages of explosion. Um, so when I say implode your core column, that's what's going on. I love I love that one. Keep, move on and leave a toes exposed to gross doses of old fallout. It works really well, and it actually it's actually like right where I was trying to go with it. This is I was trying to do a cartoon of bikini atoll here in the background. I would not nowadays put lyrics behind myself. It doesn't work. Like, what's the point of having lyrics if you can't see them? Then slow to go toxin then shows and so though we explode them no longer still the proof lives on in the blue lagoon You gotta do yourself out of use it the knowledge you hold and don't ever let her let her go You only get one shot to stop and what is to know responsibility comes It's so, I did so many takes of this and then I like meticulously edited it, edited it trying to find like the shots where I don't look like a complete complete goofball because like 90% of the shots of this lead character, I look like a total goofball. So like there's this jump cut. It's like, I, I like the jump cut effect. I think it works, but it's also to make me appear cooler than I am. Oh, I'm, I'm getting political here. I'm getting political. I was like, I was like a serious pacifist at the time. Like I was really like, like anti-war of any kind. Any like, I, I don't know if I'm that strongly. Like I, I think I still have like pacifist tendencies. Um, but I went really hard in this verse. Like, I don't, I don't know if I would do that now. Um, I, I also don't, like, I think I've said this before in the stream, but I don't know if I think it's so much my place anymore to tell people what their moral inclusion moral conclusions should be um as much as to point them to moral questions and and like ask have have them query their own conscience um so there's certain language here here like like there's a military boot on the new docs page which is it's like a cool line um but i don't know if i would use I, like you know because it's not really true that scientists are you know, under the boot heel of the government being forced to give up their secrets. Like, it's, you know, it's usually voluntary and it's usually part of the culture. Um, so, I don't know, take, take the political stuff with a grain of salt, I guess. But even so, like, I don't know. It's, on the other hand, I don't know, I, I, got some, <laughs> I got some very devoted fans from, from this one um, who, like, that's a, I don't know, it's a problem with doing political material. You get very devoted fans who are devoted because you agree with them. Um, and I'm not, I'm not sure I want to be beholden to that because like I change my opinions on a weekly basis. Um, anyways, you can, you know, we can talk about pacifism sometime. I actually have a close family, like pr pretty much family member who's designing um, air, air, airline or jet jet engines for. Uh, I don't think he's doing it for military purposes, but definitely has some uh, military. There's a military wing of the company. Um, I hope he's not like offended by this. Oh yeah, the sarin attack. It one of the reasons I went so hard here was that like this that sarin gas attack had just happened in Syria, and I was like, whoa, like this is a this is a crazy science like science. This is an attack that was really made possible by science and chemists and stuff. And so I was like thinking about that a lot while I was writing this and making these parallels to uh to the atomic bomb and just like like we really got to think about this because I remember my like my physicist like my professors in university would say things like you know what physics really needs is another war so we can like get more of a budget and go to do cool things again and I was like wait wait a second 
Hmm, I'm not so sure that you want another war so you can get a better budget for physics. You know, like people can get very like tunnel visioned um, and and just, you know, just want to like do their cool stuff and explore their physics and they're like they'll whatever it takes to do that. They'll be fine with it. And uh, I think that's like that's really what I was going after here. Like, look, look at look at the moral implications of what you're doing. And don't you know, you, you can't just have like these glasses on like I'm doing physics and it's great. Not at all, hands are blinded by crying Eyes when down, lands are slammed If all grants expand the fire brighter And there's no jury, there's no sublime writer This is all fighting, these minds is all ours So protect your PM out of trying to feed a water Good see trust, bleed a sound I gotta be clean, be in a policy See, that, like this part where I'm like telling you Telling you how the world should be even if this is still what, like most of this is still what I think, but I w don't think I would do that anymore. Instead of Vietnam and lay the armor down and be the one to stand up and lead us on the trail of spite. We'll elevate this motley project to a future and a safer spot. An irrigator plot, homicide away, forgot. Success is a lack of military options. Failure's not become a lover of a great and cosmic goal. We cannot condone these terror plots. So here we go, it's a shot. Feel frail or not. This is Look at those faces trying, trying so hard, trying so hard to be cool. All of them. Look at this dude just bobbing back and forth. Let her, let her go. You only get one shot to stop and one chance to know. Weird nerd gang. You gotta make your own mind up, man. Yeah. That is that's still my take on message. Hey, there's the nerd fighter gang sign. Hey, musical again. scientists, thanks for stopping by. It's clear that I took a long time to edit this video because from the time I filmed it to the time I filmed the outro, my hair went from that to that. Um, oh, and then my friend Joe had made this really sweet Bohemian Gravity poster, which is no longer available currently, but will be again someday when I actually get a merch store together. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I made a behind the scenes video. It's right there. Please like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to help me out. If you want to help me out financially, that's that old uh, the keyboard, uh, the the keyboard that I sold and the laptop that I lost. Actually, you can buy the song. It's on iTunes. Link down there. Also, you can buy the poster that I've got on DFDBA Records now, made by my very good friend Josiah. It is Melissa <laughs> Gavin hanging out with the nerd gang, consisting of only yourself. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's that's. I'm cool. I'm so cool. Look at look at how cool I am. Look at my gang signs, finger guns. Pew, pew, pew. There, I think. I've been keeping pretty busy. This past little while, I've been a guest vocalist on Ruben War's EP and also... Yeah, that's my, my uh, brother-in-law's brother. ...to a song by The Electric Radio. Um, they're both really good, so I'll put links to that. And just... Yeah, once again, I just had I, I, there were too many things I was trying to promote at the end of my videos. Don't do that. Stick to one if you want to hear that. All right, that's it. Next time, anyone... Hey, look at that. That's a great face. ...sees me do acapella science will be at Beakerhead in Calgary. It's going to be a great week of music. Oh, Beakerhead. Well, be, we'll have to do that next next stream or like next time we do one of these. But Beakerhead was where I premiered uh, Inflation of the Cosmos, Surface of Light. Music and art and science and craziness and nerds. So yeah, if you're around there, Calgary area, come out. Say hi. You know, talk to me, baby. I'm Tim Blaine. This is The awkwardness is not left. It's been acapella science. Bye. Acapella science. Is there a teaser in this one or did I stop doing the teasers? Looks like, oh, I stopped doing the teasers. Hey, ah! stop. All right. That's going to, I think that's going to do it for, uh, for this stream. We've gone a good 15 minutes over budget.